The nature of transformer manufacturing and operation is such that it is impossible to prevent the ingress of water completely, regardless of the quality of drying and seals. Besides, water enters the transformer when the core is open for maintenance and servicing. This water must be periodically removed from the insulation to preserve its dielectric strength. Depending on the transformer servicing location, the drying process may or may not involve extraction of the windings from the transformer. Globecore has developed technologies and equipment to dry transformer solid insulation in either case. Drying the windings externally is performed with the US vacuum oven. Internal drying of the windings, inside the transformer tank, is performed by hot air, the Mojave heat unit continuously, the CMM260C unit. By circulation of hot oil with spraying and vacuum, the cmm 4 unit. In this video, we will take a look at the vacuum vapor freezing technology of drying the solid insulation of transformers rated for 110 to 1150 kilovolts, with tanks that can withstand an absolute pressure of 1 millibar. This process is performed by the UVV type unit. The UVV is a unit with a double stage refrigerator, three backing pumps and one vacuum pump. All components are installed on a single frame as a single unit. To begin the drying process, the inlet of the UVV unit is connected to the transformer tank. The backing pumps create a 10 millibar vacuum. At this point, the vacuum pump starts and brings the pressure down to less than one millibar. The refrigerator cools down the unit's evaporator which creates a difference between the pressures of the water vapor above the surface of the solid insulation and inside the cold trap. The vapor inside the transformer are forced into the cold trap and freeze on the surface of the evaporator. As the pressure of the water vapor above the insulation surface drops, mode water evaporates from the insulation to be frozen on the evaporator in the cold trap. The operator can monitor the process through a sight glass located in the back of the cold trap. The accumulated condensate can be drained through a special valve after defrosting. This model of the UVV unit features three rotary vane backing pumps. The pumps are arranged to keep the overall dimensions of the unit the same. So this model remains compact. Vane backing pumps are quieter than, for example, spool pumps, and do not require separate cooling in summer or heating in winter. If one pump fails, the unit remains fully operations with somewhat increased time to achieve the required vacuum. The UVV unit is designed for drying of transformer insulation without the need to extract the windings both separately or in combination with a low frequency current heater. Such combination allows heating the solid insulation and improving the efficiency of water extraction from the bottom layers. Such combined drying results in moisture content of no more than 1%. Can you think of other vacuum cold freeze drying applications? Let us know in the comments. For more information, visit www.globecourt.com